Hello 3E. We're going to talk today about piecework pay. Our goal, I know what it means to be paid by piecework and I can make calculations to figure out how much someone will be paid. So for piecework pay, uh, piecework means that someone gets paid for the amount of things they make or sell. The harder you work, the more things you, pro you produce um, or sell and, and the more you'll get paid. So it's a win-win situation, win for you, win for your employer because you're working hard, win for you because you make more money. Uh, sometimes you will receive a base salary and then piecework pay on top of that or you could be paid straight by piecework which means that if you don't produce or sell anything you don't receive any pay. So let's take a look, an example of straight piecework. Uh, John assembles wooden Muskoka chairs. He is paid $23 for each chair he assembles. He can usually assemble two chairs per hour. This is what a Muskoka chair is, in case you didn't know. Uh, how much would he earn in a regular 40-hour work week? So he's assembling two chairs per hour, and he's working for 40 hours. So for a 40-hour work week, uh, let's just figure this out. Um, each hour, so per hour, he makes assembles two chairs and each chair earns him $23. So for his one hour he earns $46 which is pretty good. Um, then he's working for 40 hours so total is 46 times 40 and 46 times 40 is 1840. That's a pretty good pay. Okay. Um, Muskoka chairs don't sell well in the winter time so John only works this job for 36 weeks out of the year. Uh, so what is his yearly earnings? So he makes 1840 every week And he only works 36 weeks out of the year. So what is 1840 times 36? 66,240 dollars, which is pretty good for only working 36 weeks of the year. So therefore, he makes $66,240 per year. Now it's probably a little extreme for assembling Muskoka chairs but you get the idea of how piecework pay actually works. Now here's another one where it says piecework plus base pay. Lindsay got a job selling pumpkins at a roadside stand. The pumpkin farmer has agreed to pay her $10 per day plus $1.25 for each pumpkin she sells. How much money would Lindsay earn if she sold 18 pumpkins one day? So we're going to calculate the piecework to start with. Um, if we calculate the piecework, uh, she sells 18 pumpkins. Each of those pumpkins is worth $1.25 for her when she sells them. She's probably selling them for more than $1.25. So we need to figure out what 18 times $1.25 is. Now remember for your piecework, this first number here is how many sold and this is the pay per one. Another word for that is unit pay. So 18 times $1.25, 1.25 times 18 is $22.50. $22.50. But the farmer is going to give her some money on top of that. He gets a base pay. So if we, we have to add in the base pay, so we take our $22.50 which is the piecework pay and add in the ten dollars which is the base pay and so in total she makes thirty two fifty. And so we say therefore 
she is paid $32.50 for the day. Now that may change the next day because she may not sell near so many pumpkins. But that ends our lesson for today.